Now this is goals. I'm very excited for this because Lord knows I have been struggling with a pumping for the past, what, four months now? Because it started in May when I decided to want to take a break and stop pumping and use up my stash because I believed I had more than enough stashed up to be able to take a little month or two month break. I was expecting a two month break. My baby went through. I was expecting a two month break. My baby went through our milk supply in like a month. And I have not been up same since, so we're using the Spectra. Oh, look, it came out. The Spectra Synergy Gold. All right. It is 5 25 in the morning. I need to go back to bed. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Jandir Perez, and today we are going to be reviewing the Spectra Synergy Gold. Now, I've created a few behind the scenes uh, videos throughout the past two weeks just to show you guys a little bit of what's going on. And I was going to do a voiceover and decided to come in the camera. So, hey y'all. I would definitely like to create a session for today in the kitchen because I was contemplating where to record. First things first, if you don't have a Spectra pump, definitely get one ASAP. And let me tell you why. I am enjoying the output of the pump. I am enjoying the fact that the pump has two different motors because my right boob doesn't produce at the same strength that my left boob does. My left boob requires more work in order to get that suction out. And sometimes I do have to do two separate pump sessions. No one likes having to do two separate pump sessions. I am no one. So because of that, I also made sure that <laughs> I took my time with this review. I decided to want to wait. I received this pump about two weeks ago, it could be almost three weeks, and I wanted to ensure that it actually worked. I did a review on the Doob Press Pump, it's in my archives, or you guys can go back and see that, um, and see how that went, and I also did use the Medela Pumping Style, I used the hands-free Medela Pump, I also used the, I went to Amazon for the answer, it's the Hakka. So I used the Hakka and I, I could only utilize it to where I I could only use it when I was in gorge. If I need to do a pump session right now, a haka would not work. It won't it won't get anything out. So for me I needed to be in gorge in order to successfully use a haka, which wasn't great. Now I've tried about four different manual pumps. I've tried two different electric pumps and I've tried, I think about four also has free pump. Uh, just to say that in your breastfeeding journey, you will come across so many different pumps. The best method that I recommend in regards to finding the pump that's right for you is going through the hospital, which is what I did not do because I did not expect to be spending so much money on pumps. Now, if you do it through the hospital, you're able to loan the pump I think it's loan or they sell it to you at a discounted rate, but that way through the hospital, you can return it back if it doesn't work. If it's not working for you, you can return it back. You cannot do that on Amazon. I tried. Y'all, when I received my Spectra Synergy Gold Pump, the bag that held the pump parts, someone had opened it. The seal was torn. I paid $285 for this pump for someone to sell me something that was opened i'm still disputing that on amazon <clears throat> but that's a we're not even going to talk about that um i wanted to jump straight into the results which is what i'm getting now i struggled with restarting my supply because i stopped in may i stopped pumping 
we went to Jamaica and I decided that oh I have a breast supply I have a breast milk supply I can take a break yeah so this one month break that I felt was gonna be two months three months ended up being I should have not taken that break because after a month of me not pumping, I was just breastfeeding and then giving the, the baby food for my stash, I realized, okay, he went through that stash pretty quick, let me start pumping again. We're now in September. I'm sorry. It is October 4th. So it took me from May up until the end of September when I got this new pump to regulate my milk regularly my breast milk for the output that I wanted, my desired output. And the baby is now also in solids. So he has a mixture of breast milk, he has a mixture of solids, and his baby food that I make at home, and I'm not against purees that we purchase at the supermarket, so he also has that, but I give him prune, sweet potato, whatever my friends say buys. We try to go the old organic route, but you know, we don't know what they're putting in the food. He's fine. I'm not complaining, we're straight, as long as the baby's fed. We even tried formula. I tried the, um, I tried the Bugs grass-fed formula. He ate, he drank about a can, and then when it was time to do the second can, we were in Panama and my baby looked at me like I had 10 heads. Like, what is this man? So, that ended up going to waste. Uh, we were at BJ's about three, two or three weeks ago, and we ended up getting Similac Advance. A pack of, I think it was like three cans for about 54 bucks. Right, so for the first can, I did date it. I didn't know, and I forgot, let me be specific, I forgot that you're supposed to use the breast, the, you're supposed to use the formula within four to six weeks of opening it. So, I dated the can, so I know when I open it, so I know that when he needs to eat it, and, I'm sorry, but when he needs to drink it and off of the first bottle my baby was not with it he was like what is this i don't want this so yeah we regulated our milk now regulating the milk came with also adding the pump sessions so there's something called power pumping that i highly recommend that you do um it might work with your current pump and if it's not working just get the spectrum because that's what we need it for um so the spectrum has two So this bunch has two motors. You have two motors, you have a you have an expression option and then of course you have a let down option. And I hope that I'm wording this correctly. I'm just here to tell you, get the pump. And also let you know about my pumping journey. Now I am pumping about I want to say 20 to 25 ounces a day, which is great. That is where I was at. This morning, I had a pump session. I pumped 7 ounces. Just a while ago, I had another pump session. I pumped about 5 or 6 ounces. I have to pump right now, and then I have one more at night. So I pump about 4 to 5 times a day. I sometimes, depending on if the baby wakes me up at night, I sometimes pump at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So adding that extra pump session in the wee hours of the night where the baby is just going back to sleep and I'm still up, trying not to scroll on Instagram, highly recommend it, just saying. Um, let me also show you guys because I do have it right here. You have your power button. You have the same uh, you have the same expression button that you use to also pump your milk. You have your left motor and your right motor, motor volume up and down, and also your cycles. I went on TikTok to find out what the cycles are, and that is more in regards to like the flow of the milk. So you either want it to or just. I, I love it because I get to alternate depending on how I'm feeling then and there that I'm pumping. So sometimes I can take a faster cycle and sometimes I just want to, you know, just calm, relax, I go, I'm kind of in a rush, just get the milk out. Um, I like this. And then it's also LED and it has a really cool light. I saw someone on TikTok highlight that they've, they haven't had to use a light 
and they don't get the point of the light. The light is perfect at nighttime when you don't want to turn the lights on. So you have a night light available so that you're not waking everyone up while you're pumping. They can already hear the pump. Um, I don't want my baby to see the light. So I keep my pump in a nice little corner that I'm going to show you guys in the next clip. That is about it. If you guys have any questions in regards to this pump, please put it in the comment section. I'm pretty sure I'm not touching on every single point of this pump. I wanted to make this video quick, simple, and easy just so that I could upload the video. I was not going to come on camera and decided to, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is my review on the Spectra Synergy Go. I am loving this pump. It was worth the $285 that I pay on Amazon. If you have insurance and you have not gotten your pump yet, you can contact your doctor, your pediatrician, or your obstetrician. They can get you a referral for a pump. And it will cost you about $180 to $200, depending on who you decide to go with in order to get this pump. So you can go the cost-effective route or the I just want the goddamn pump. I just want Amazon and just purchase it. Um, I did try to go through my insurance and they did tell me that I could only have one pump per year. And then I checked again and then they said one pump per baby. And so I was like, it's all right. I'll pay that for $100. Um, but yeah, that was all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a quick video on Spectra Synergy Go. I hear the baby doing his lovely little new sound that he's doing, so I'm gonna go tend to him. Thank you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know what to do. There's your girl. Over and out. Peace.